This is Amy Chan from CakeDecoratingSchool.com and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. In this video, we're going to be making a trio of Christmas themed mini cakes. It's broken down into segments so you can skip ahead, rewatch and rewind as desired. So we're going to start out by mixing some of our colors and the first one I'm going to make is some red. I'm using all American style or simple buttercream and we're using liquid gel colors. We're going to use red red, coal black, buckeye brown, some lemon yellow, and just a little bit of royal blue to make our all, all of our shades. But we're going to start with the red. We've got just a couple of ounces in there because I'm just making a few tiny little mini cakes. And I'm just going to give it a couple of drops to start with. We'll mix it around and we're going for something that starts to look red without being too, too intense so that it'll develop into a nice red. And we're almost there. I just want to get what's on the bottom of the cup. Make sure it's nice and mixed. And that should take us home. You can see it's starting to get to that point where it's like a really dark pink where you're starting to question if it's almost red yet. And that's usually a good point to stop with your reds and then they'll develop the rest of the way into a nice, bright, vibrant color. So that should be perfect. So our next color is going to be just a little bit of brown. So I have a few ounces of white in there. I'm just going to give it a couple of drops of my Buckeye Brown. I want to make a nice warm color, but I don't want it to be too dark. I'm going to use it for some cute little Rudolphs, and I want to be able to put little faces on them. So I'm probably going to use just some simple details like black lines and a red dot for the nose and eyes. And I want to make sure that those colors pop off of this color. So you can see just a few drops of that brown makes a nice medium tone. It's really going to accomplish that for us. And I just want to get all that white mixed in. And it's just going to be to quickly coat the outside of our cakes with. It's a nice, rich, medium tone brown that the red and the black will really pop off of and work with nicely. So the next thing we're going to make is the skin tone for our Santa and Mrs. Claus. And I'm just going to do kind of a generic like mid to light skin tone. And for it, since I want it to be a little bit ruddy, because I usually think of Santa with kind of rosy cheeks, I'm going to use a little bit of that red red. So I'm going to use red red, lemon yellow, and a little bit of buckeye brown. But if you're just making skin tones in general and you want to maybe match something to a specific person or um, person for inspiration. I usually use these three colors plus a little coal black or maybe even some royal blue if maybe there's like an olive hint of, un, for the undertone of the skin color that you're going for. So make whatever skin tone you prefer. This is just kind of a, a quick one just to give our little Santa and Mrs. Claus a little bit of color and make sure it stands out from kind of the white background. So we went with just a little bit of that Buckeye Brown tiny bit of that yellow and a little bit of red and we'll give it a mix around and see what it looks like and maybe add some more if needed. Not bad. I think I just want to bump the color up a bit to make it more present. So I'm just going to repeat that. Just some brown, yellow, and just a tiny bit of that red. And I think that'll work nicely for a little project today. It'll show up really well. 
so that's going to be great. And we're going to use this for our faces and our little noses, and I might even take a little bit later, add some more red into it to make a little blush for some rosy cheeks. So the next color I'm going to make is some black. I just want this for some cute little lines, do things like eyes, um, maybe things like a mouth on your Rudolph. So I've just got a little bit of that white buttercream in there, so I'm just going to start out with a few little drops of my black and mix it around, and we want to get like really nice kind of intense charcoal gray, and that should deepen to a really good black for us. And that is going to be perfect. So our next color is going to be some gray, and I just want to make a quick gray, so I'm actually just taking a little bit of the black that I just mixed, and I'm just going to feed it into a bowl with some white, and it's just a really quick way to control the amount of black. Like if you don't have toothpicks on hand, make the dark color first and then use it to feed your lighter shade, and it's a little easier than sometimes to control the amounts. And that's a nice light gray color. I think maybe I'll make it just a little more darker, a little present. I was thinking about giving Mrs. Claus some gray hair and a cute little bun. And I think that will be the perfect color for it. So our final color, I wanted to do just a little green. I'm probably going to put some holly leaves on, maybe like Santa's hat or something like that, or in Mrs. Claus's hair. Rudolph's little collar. So I'm just going to do a little bit of royal blue and equal parts lemon yellow to give myself a nice, bright, vibrant shade of green that we can use for that. It'll give us a nice little pop of contrast against the red that we'll have going on. And I think that's going to be a great shade for it. So we used several bags and quite a few tips for this project, so go through all of them. The first one was just a bag for our dark chocolate candy melts that we use for our Rudolph antlers, and I just clipped the end of that and didn't use a tip with it. The metal from the tips can often cool it down, make it actually a little more difficult to pipe. So I often go tipless uh, when I'm doing small tasks like that, and it works out nicely. I used my bag with white with a coupler, I used it with a number five and also a number eight, so two larger round tips. My bag with my kind of fleshy tone color, uh, I used with a number five tip for the noses. I also used a number five tip for my bag with my gray. I knew I was only going to be using this one with one tip, so I just went ahead and put it right down in the bag and skipped the coupler. Red I used with a coupler, we used with a number one tip. We also ended up using a number 44 and a number 12 as well. For my brown, I used a number 59 and also a number eight. For my black, I ended up just using a number one tip. You could use a number one or two, just anything nice, small, and round that's going to allow you to make nice little lines and dots. And for my green, we just used a number 352 tip. This is a nice little leaf tip. If you don't have one of these, you could use anything like a 66 or a 67 as well. So we're going to be decorating little mini cakes today, and I just have two little layers of cake. They're one and a half inch rounds. Um, you don't need small pans for these. I actually just bake off um, sheet cakes and cut them out with a little cookie cutter. And then I stack them up and ice them the way I normally would a cake. And that gives us a nice flat surface to work on that sometimes for designs is easier than cupcakes, although these are obviously a lot more work to decorate than an actual cupcake is. So it's a nice fun little presentation if you want to make individual desserts for your guests. So we're going to get the top surface of our little cakes ready to decorate, and we're going to make Santa, Mrs. Claus, and Rudolph. So we're going to do two with that kind of peachy flesh tone color we made, and one with our brown. And it's just very easy since our cakes are kind of already um, iced with a nice little base of white to just gently take a little bit of that color 
and layer it on the surface. So just nice all over the top, nice and smooth. And then in order to clean it up, we're just gonna take off the excess. So just nice clean spatula. You can just remove any excess. And then just make a nice clean swipe across the top. And if you get any on the sides, if your cakes are really nice and firm, it's actually really easy to clean that color off. And then you have a nice little surface on the side where you can do excess decoration. I've just done mine in white, but you can make them any color you want and do cute little faces on top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other two. So we're gonna start decorating with our Santa face. And I'm gonna start out and I'm gonna put his little hat on first because that's gonna give me an idea of how much space I have for his face. So I have my bag of red and I'm gonna use a number 12 tip to put on his hat. And I wanna think about it a little bit like making lines. So if you haven't done lines before, I wanna to touch the surface, kind of pick up a little bit so that the frosting is flowing really nice and freely, go across, and then I'm gonna draw around the top, and I'm gonna taper off my pressure down the side because I want it to look like a little cap with the little, I don't know, tail or whatever that is on the end that we can put the cute little white ball on. So I'm going to start with my big fat number 12 tip. I'm gonna start over here on the right side. I'm above the midline, so think I'm just trying to cover that top quarter of my cake. And just nice and thick, all the way straight across. Across the top, following that curve, and then taper off your pressure for a nice little point. And we can see that gives us a nice little shape, like a little hat. I can add a little white ruffle on it, do a little ball on the end, and that's gonna give me some nice little Santa vibes. If you want to smooth out the line on the hat, you can take a nice little tapered spatula and just gently go across with nice, light, even pressure. And you can see that just erases that little line we had from where we kind of double backed around. So. My next step is to kind of start putting on my face and then I'll do my details with my white last. So I wanna think about where his eyes will be, his nose, and I'm gonna put in two little cheeks. So I took just a little bit of the color I made for my flesh tone and I mixed it with a little bit of the red. So about half and half, and that should give you a nice color for your cheeks, no matter what color you made for your little Santa faces, right? I'm just gonna take a tiny little paintbrush, so just a little round one, and I'm gonna think about where his nose would be and just come across and give myself some cute little dabs. And they don't have to be perfect. I just want that idea of kind of a little bit of a little kind of red, rosy little Santa cheeks. So I'm just gonna use Nice little soft strokes. Just think about little C shapes when you do them. And just make a little bit of that pink right there flat against the surface. Fantastic. So my next step is gonna be mouth, eyes, and then my nose. And I'm going to use my red again, and I'm gonna change it to a number one tip. And I've also got my black ready to go, and that's also gonna be a one tip. And basically what we're gonna be doing with these is making little lines, and they're just gonna be U-shaped. So just a nice little curve. So right here, think about it being in the middle. My nose is gonna be right there, so I want my mouth to be right underneath that. I'm just gonna make sure my frosting is coming out because it's a nice small tip. And I'm just gonna start by touching the surface. You'll notice my bag is straight up and down. And then as I pull up, I'm squeezing, and I'm just gonna make a nice little half circle. 
right? So cute little smile for Santa. His nose will be in the middle and we're gonna do his eyes on top. The eyes are gonna be half circles the other direction. So this one is pointing up, the others are gonna point down and we're gonna do two of them and you can do them kind of almost right above his little cheeks and that'll give him a nice little look like a grinning, smiling little Santa. I'm gonna do the same thing with my black. Also number one tip, same technique. We're just gonna go another direction with it. So just two little arc shapes. Right up top. I think with little details like this, it's important just to take your time. Go nice and slow. That makes it nice and easy. Now I've got some of my extra color of my flesh tone in a little bag. And I've got it fitted with a number five tip. For this one, you think about it kind of like a dot, but instead of just piping a circle, we're going to pipe a circle and then we're gonna slide along the surface to give it almost a little pill shape. And this is gonna give us a nice kind of fat little nose. I always like to think of Santa as having a little chubby nose. So we're gonna start squeezing, make a dot, and then slide along the surface. And when we wanna finish it, we taper off our pressure and pull back across that. And you can see then, he's starting to have a cute little face. Eyes, nose, mouth. He just needs some of those little finishing details, like a little mustache and a beard. So let's start with a number five on a bag of white. So I just took some extra white that I had on hand that I used to make my colors from. And we're gonna do a little mustache underneath his nose and above his mouth. It's perfectly okay if it covers up some of it or knocks into it, that makes it look more layered and complex, which is wonderful. And we're gonna start by doing a dot and then we're gonna pull and a little S motion. So think about it like a little S one direction and a little S the other direction, and that's gonna give him a nice little mustache. So we're gonna build up a little dot right under the nose, do a little S shape one direction, and then go back and do it the other. I'm gonna keep working on my Santa details. I'm gonna do a nice little squiggly line up top for the kind of trim on his hat and give him a dot. And then I'm gonna fill in down here and do a beard. So I'm just gonna go with my five tip and I'm just gonna go a nice zigzag. We'll make a nice little border. You can see I'm just piping it on the edge of that red. Me too, you can add a little extra down there and I'm gonna give him a little dot over here. And he's looking really cute. I'm gonna change to my number eight. And I'm gonna go in and give him a fun little beard. So, we're gonna go all the way down the side. And then once we hit that mustache, I'm just gonna go in and do a nice little zigzag line leaving just an opening for his mouth and meeting back at that dot for his little hat. And you can see we have an adorable little Santa face. Mini cake. And if you want to, you can add a little holly on his hat, which I think I might do. That'll just give us a little pop of green. And I'm gonna use my 352 with that green and also my red that has my number one on it. I think I'm gonna go off to this side over here. So it's just simple leaves. We're gonna hold that bag at a 45 degree angle and just pull two of them and put a few little berries in there just to give Santa a little pop of green. And I think doing a little holly on each of my cakes will kind of help tie them all together and make a nice little presentation. So just two quick leaves and three quick dots is a great way to finish him up. And then we have an adorable little Santa face mini cake. 
So for this little mini cake, we're gonna make a Mrs. Claus. And we're gonna use some of the same bags we used for Santa, a red, black, green, and that flesh color we made. And then we're also gonna use our gray for her hair. And I have my gray fitted with a number five tip, and that's actually what we're gonna start with. So we can put that on and then do the spacing for the face and it'll make it a little easier. So I wanna think about the middle of my cake and I wanna give her kind of a side part. So I'm gonna start over there. I'm gonna sweep across with my lines and then do some shorter ones over here. So I wanna give it a look like she's kind of got some bangs swept across her face. So stylish Mrs. Claus. And we're gonna just do some lines. So it's kind of like thick lines of hair, right? So I'm gonna start off to this side and just nice lines, same like I would do anything else where I am starting my line, picking up as I'm starting to pipe and give some pressure and letting it drop into place. That way gravity is doing the work for us and making nice, beautiful lines. And I'm just gonna pipe these right next to each other so it looks like hair. And if it's easier, you can stay closer to the surface if that gives you better control. Right, so we've got some hair going off one direction and then we're gonna do some going off the other. So. And I'm just gonna fill in just a little bit right there. And I wanna give her a cute little bun. So I'm gonna repeat that kind of pill shape that I did for my nose on Santa. So I'm gonna do it larger here on Mrs. Claus and kind of across the top and in the center. So just up here, right on the edge, nice and big, nice and fat. Nice little bun for Mrs. Claus. So you can see it's starting to look kind of like hair up there. And if I wanted to, I could even go across and do lines and ribs across that to give that some texture, which we may do in a little bit. I might just let it sit up a tiny bit before I do that. But her hair has got a good start. Let's start marking out her face and can do the same thing where I just kind of imagine where my center is and where I'm gonna put my nose. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that pink on my little paintbrush, right? So I just have a small, clean, round craft brush. And these are brushes that I use just for cake decorating. And I'm just gonna dab a little pink on each side of where I imagine her nose would be. And just give that a nice gentle application If you're working on your cakes while they're cold, it shouldn't disturb the color underneath. And you should be able to put that pink on. So let's go ahead and put on her mouth, eyes, and nose as well. We're gonna do the same U-shaped mouth that we did for Santa. So we're just gonna imagine where our nose is gonna be. And we're gonna start by touching down, bag straight up and down, draw a nice little U-shape. We like a nice little happy Mrs. Claus. And then once we get that on, we're gonna do her eyes. And rather than using the U-shape, I'm gonna do the little S-curve, almost like what I did for Santa's mustache and then add an extra little stroke on it to give her some eyelashes. So kind of a nice little smiley, almost like squint with eyelashes. So we're gonna start there. Nice little S-curve, taper off at the end. 
So for that, you want to touch and flick while you're still squeezing. And then just draw an extra little line and you get that look kind of like closed eyes with eyelashes. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side, just going in the opposite direction. Very cute. I'm going to add her nose and then I'll put a few more little details in her hair. So just same little pill shape right across the center. Maybe give her a slightly smaller nose than Mr. Claus, but she's looking really cute. So I think I'm gonna add just a little detail to her bun. So I'm just gonna turn her at an angle so it's easier to work with. Since we've been sitting for a few minutes, that frosting has had some time to kind of firm up. And so I'm just going to kind of pull towards a little center point, start in the middle. And just work my way out. So it looks like that has some texture on it. There, that's adorable. Looks more like a bun on top of her head now. And I think we're gonna finish her up by giving her just that same little holly that we gave Mr. Claus and maybe a few little curls down the side of her face, just to kind of frame it and make it look adorable and make it look mm, like it makes more sense that she doesn't have little ears. So same thing with my holly leaves, just hold that bag 45 degree angle, in the direction that you're gonna pull, I'm gonna pull off to this side so you notice the back is pointing that way. And I'm just gonna to touch with one of those points of my 352 tip and really quickly pull two tiny little leaves. And then I'm just gonna do three dots. So anytime you do a dot, hold just above the surface, squeeze, and then circle around to finish it off. And you can really quickly put in those cute little holly berries. And then I think we'll give her some just cute little curls down the side of her face. Just some sweet little tendrils to kind of finish off Mrs. Claus. And that's a cute little Mrs. Claus cake that's really easy to make with a few fun, simple colors and techniques. So before we start actually decorating our Rudolph, we're gonna make some antlers. I just have some dark chocolate candy melts in a bag. I've melted them so they're nice and loose. The bag is fitted without a tip and I've just cut a small hole. And I basically wanna draw some little snowman stick style kind of arms that I'm then going to peel off and use as little antlers to stick onto my little Rudolphs. And depending on how many Rudolph cakes you're doing, you just wanna make sure you make extras just in case something breaks, so you don't have to go back and do this. And I'm only making one today, so I'm just gonna make two little sets of antlers. That way, if something misbehaves, I should be nice and prepared, and I shouldn't have to go back and repeat this step. But it's a really easy way to make additional decorations, whether they're going to be little antlers for your reindeer or arms for your snowman. And we're just going to pop these in the fridge for a few minutes so they firm up and are easy to peel off and place on our cakes. So we're going to start working on our little Rudolph cake. And we have our bags ready. We're going to be using our green, red, black, and our brown. 
And I'm going to start with my brown. I've got a number eight tip on it, and I just want to make sure we're flowing nicely. And we're going to put on kind of a little bit of a snout that's going to point off to this side. So we want to think about it like building up a dot and then pulling slowly so we get a nice little peak, almost kind of like a little comma. So I'm just going to go build up a nice mound and then give him a nice little kind of point off to the side. And it's going to look a little silly to start with, but I'm going to take my little offset spatula and just hold it at a little bit of an angle, right? Nice soft angle and just gently smooth that frosting in to the surface. And you can see with just a few quick little swipes, it just kind of blends that together with the brown that we already have on the surface. And you can really just tell the difference because the brown we've had out at room temperature has developed in color and the stuff we've had in the refrigerator getting cold is still a little bit lighter. But when it comes to room temperature, they'll both end up being the same color. So that gives us a little bit of a kind of little snout for our little Rudolph and it's gonna be a little place to put a little nose on and we're gonna do a mouth and some other cute little details underneath. So start with that. I'm gonna do a mouth for him and I want it to be that same U shape that we've done on Santa and Mrs. Claus, but I'm gonna make it a little bit um, lopsided. So it's gonna be shorter on one side, longer on the other, kind of like it's disappearing underneath and over that to that other side. So I'm gonna go straight up and down lift up as I start piping and I'm just going to extend past the edge on this side and you can see that gives us that kind of look of a slightly lopsided smile so nice and cute then above our little snout I'm going to do two little eyes and I kind of want them to line up with the ends of the smile and I'm just going to do little dots. So nice dot up off the surface, nice squeeze. Finish it off well. Take your time with those. They're really great practice. Squeeze, let it build up. Circle it around to finish it off. Nice and cute. And then I'm going to change my brown to a number 59 tip. And this one is a curved petal tip. It's gonna allow us to give Rudolph some cute little ears. And I'm just gonna do a little ear over on this side and a little one on that side. If you need to, rotate your cake a little bit while you're working on them. But basically, we're just gonna do a cute little teardrop shaped or petal, kind of classic petal. Right, just like that. So you're holding it so that the fat end of the tip is pointing um, kind of towards the middle or towards the inside of the cake. Just pull out a little bit, rotate and pull back. And if that skinny end is up off the surface, it'll give you a slightly cupped look and it's a great way to make little ears on animals, especially when you're doing cakes and cupcakes. So I'm just gonna really quickly give Rudolph some cute little ears, really sweet. And then I'm gonna put on some details with my red. So a nice little ball right on the end of the nose, finishes it off, really cute. And I'm going to give our Rudolph a little bit of a collar as well. So I've changed my red to a 44 tip. And I'm just gonna do a nice flat line here and that's gonna give him kind of a little bit of a neck and a little bit of a collar. And I'm gonna use my green 
to do the same little holly that I've done for Santa and Mrs. Claus as well. So just quickly, two nice little leaves. I'll change my red back to my number one and put on some berries. So a couple quick dots. Since we're going red, almost on red, I really want to make sure I pull them over to the green really quickly. And our Rudolph is looking adorable, a bit more bear-like because we haven't put his antlers on yet. And we're going to pull those out of the fridge and check them and see if they're ready yet. So our little antlers are ready. They really only take a few minutes to set up and you'll see they kind of pop right off. If you need a little assistance, use a little spatula to help yourself get them started, but they should come right off of that paper. And once you've got them off, they're going to be really easy just to gently insert. Or if you need it, use just a little bit of frosting underneath to help apply them. So the surface of my cakes are still nice and firm because we have a nice chilly day. So I'm just going to stick my cute little antlers in there any way that looks adorable. And it's totally okay if they overlap the ears a little bit. I just want a nice, fun little presentation so we end up with a adorable little Rudolph cake to go with our Santa and Mrs. Claus. So here we have our trio of fun mini Christmas cake designs. We hope you enjoyed making Santa, Mrs. Claus, and Rudolph with us. And if you did, check out some of our other mini cake content. We have tons of little mini cake video ideas. And if you have ideas that you want to see, whether it's for a holiday, a particular design, a type of technique, please leave it in the comments and let us know what you're interested in seeing. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like more about the cake decorating materials and equipment we use, or just some inspirational videos about cake decorating itself, you can follow us on Insta or YouTube at Cake Decorating School. If you'd like to know more about yearly membership and what it entails, you can go to www.cakedecoratingschool.com for more information. And if you're interested in these products, you can check the links in the description.